Hi, this is Dr. Pinata, and we're going to be reviewing the Nar Narciso Anasui figure. Uh, this is courtesy of my brother. He is the owner of this figure. Uh, we got these two in a deal. We, got, we stole these, basically, because they're really, really cheap. Uh, and they came in brand new condition with the stands actually, like, in the little packet still. So, came brand new, and they came in pretty great condition, I gotta say. So let's just get into this review. Besides the fist hands, he comes with two curved open hands, two more closed open hands, a hand with three fingers pointing out. I don't know what pose that's from. I don't know what scene. Maybe, Joey, do you know what pose scene that's from? Uh, I can't remember, to be honest. Well, anyways, we also have the more claw-like hand where he's like, gripping something. The figure also comes with uh, some pretty cool effect pieces, which are pretty rare for this line. Um, he has like these little blast effects that will connect to, uh, let's say, the foot that it comes with. And that will be like, that could, that could peg into uh, this little thing. As you can tell, I got two arms and then two of the longer ones and then one short one. So you're going to plug this in like so. And you could put that on his stand, which I don't think his stand came with three holes. So you're gonna have to just either use this or have him stand up or you just borrow one. Pretty nice looking effect piece for an SAS figure. A head that's not yelling, but instead he's like kind of angry looking. He d he's not yelling, but he's just, yeah, he's just not really opening his mouth up. And now we're going to get into articulation. For his hands, they are on ball pegs. So you could go down and up, and then you could twist it, and then left to right. His arms are really good. They can go almost all the way up if it wasn't for him being a little buff over here. This is kind of like the part seven figure. Since these came out like a little before, maybe like a year, they are probably experimenting with what kind of joints they will be using later on so it's kind of like a double-ended peg with balls on it that'll let him shift up shift down but here let me take the head off so this is easier that the hair doesn't get in the way i took the head off you can twist it all the way around um it's not bad it definitely takes some loosening to actually get it like not very stiff because when it came out of package this would barely be able to move but now that it does, it's pretty good. His neck can go about that much down, that much up. All right. And with that, his head can look this much down and not very much up because of his hair. But that much back, which is pretty good, but that's typical for this line. Not much forward, because you don't want to break this little thing, and these aren't very stiff. These are just very flimsy feeling, which is not bad because it doesn't just, it wouldn't just break off when you're trying to move it. Articulation at the waist, that lets me go even more back, just a tad forward. This also goes side to side, but you don't want to do that too much because there's no real reason to, and because it just feels a little stiff when you do that. This side can kick up to a about 90, which is pretty good. Leg can kick back to about there. His ankle can go this much back, that much forward. Anasui stands at just about six inches tall. Here is Anasui next to Weather Report, who is pretty tall compared to him, mostly because of his hat. And here he is next to his sand. Diver down just a bit taller than him, but that's pretty normal for stands. Uh, and he will be getting a review shortly, if you guys want to see that. Uh, we'll be doing Diver Down at some point. Anyways, Anasui is an amazing figure. Uh, honestly, probably one of the better ones. He has pretty good articulation. Um, his outfit may, be, may throw you off for people who don't know the character or aren't used to characters looking like him but 
Hey, this is Jojo, and what is Jojo without the Bizarre? What's the Bizarre without the Avenger? So, it's a pretty cool character. If you really like the character, yes, it is a good buy, but he's going to be probably rising in price with the Stone Ocean anime coming out soon, and he doesn't have a re-release schedule just yet. So, if you don't want to wait for a potential re-release, then I suggest trying to find him around 80 or maybe even 70, I don't know. We got these for a really good deal for like, I don't know, 60, 70 each. So, but sometimes people don't get that lucky. And if you could find him with a stand, maybe it'll be a little bit better of a deal if you are willing to pay a little bit more for both. So thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned. We got a couple more reviews coming up uh, in the making. So if you guys wanna see those, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time. Bye.